Hey everybody, I'm Fabulous and I'm here to tell you how I'm recreating the Easter Island in Unity 3D. First, let me give you some context as to why I'm doing this. In my Discord server, I have a channel called Game Devs, which is used to chat with other game devs. Well, at least that's what it used to be. Now it's become a mess filled to the brim with shit posting of Moai statues. I'm not being over dramatic here. There are pages and pages of this, whatever it is. There's literally nothing here other than Moai statues. It's been going on for months now and I don't know how to stop the shitposting. So I figured, hey, if you can't beat them, join them. I went ahead and did some research. Apparently these statues are located in a small isolated island in the Pacific Ocean called Rapa Nui. It's home to a national park that has been declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO because of its outstanding universal values and has some of the most beautiful landscapes I've ever seen. As I was touring the island, of course from Google Maps, not in real life, I got the idea to recreate a real scale version of it, faithful to the original in Unity. But where do you even start to do something like that? Well, first of all, we need to make the island itself with the real topography, meaning the natural forms and features of the land surfaces. The cliffs, the beaches, the hills, each of these elements must be exactly right. But how do you do that? Are you seriously considering to sculpt every little of the island from memory? What are you, crazy? Let me introduce you to Height Maps. Yeah! Height Maps have been declared a World Heritage Site by UNESCO because of its outstanding un... Wait, uh, wrong script. They're basically images that represent the altitude of an area in black and white. The brighter the height map is, the higher is the elevation of that portion of land. For example, in this height map, you can clearly see Terevaca, Poike and Ranokau which are the three extinguished volcanoes that sit on Easter Island. Now, your little baboon brain could be thinking, hey, how do you turn that into a 3D model? The answer is, I don't. I just throw it into Unity, give all the real life information of the height map, press a button and just like that, uh, like just, j just a second, it's gonna load any minute now. One hour later. Uh... Two hours later. Uh, okay, just like that we have an island. Well, kind of. On first try, Unity only took care of the higher parts of the map, leaving me the burden of sculpting all the rest. But hey, are you seriously considering to sculpt every other detail of the island from memory? What are you, crazy? Let me introduce you to Unity Forum. <laughs> Unity Forum is a World Heritage Site by... Un no, wait, um... Yeah, it's where you go when you need help. This guy who was facing my same issue suggested to make the entire height map brighter in Photoshop. That way, Unity is gonna sculpt the entire area while still keeping the desired dimensions and proportions. To my surprise, this worked like a charm. Well, not at first, I still had to make some attempts and I ended up with five different height maps, which I called Mega Raised and Ultra Raised and Ultra Mega Raised and so on, but it worked, so that's the important thing. Now it's time to make water, because as Prince Philip used to say, an island without water is not an island, it's just a piece of shit. Also, I've been dead for a year. But how do you do that? Are you seriously considering to sculpt every little detail of the island from memory? What are you, crazy? Let me introduce you to the Unity Acid Store. It's been declared by UNESCO the world to just get a free water shader, alright? Don't overthink it. No one will know. Get the shader. Five minutes, you're there. Okay, we got water and it looks alright. Well, actually it looks pretty good. Now it's time to turn this grey undefined piece of matter into something that resembles an island. The way I see it, we should divide this lengthy process into three separate stages. First off, distributing the base textures. This means going around the island and actually coloring every part with a certain texture. I won't be using anything fancy, just the basic things such as sand, moss, rock, scree, etc. Then we'll move on to adding details such as natural elements, grass, rocks, trees, and so on. And finally, only after we're done with all of this, we'll add the Moai statues. And after making this very well-rounded plan, I immediately decided to completely ignore it because I have moon brain and I started making the statues first. I found this model by Spectre 3D, which looks very, very cool. So I stole it. I mean, I, I borrowed it. Okay, I stole it. But I'm giving attribution, so I I'm fine with the law, all right? 
Since I wanted the statues to mirror the position they have on the island in real life, as much as possible, I used the map that has landmarks for the statues and imported it into Unity. Like this, I can look at the map in an isometric perspective and distribute all the models around. Like this. I think there are like 5 or 6 statues, so this is gonna be quick, just let me check how many... 887 statues?! What the fu- Oh, this is gonna take a while. One Two hours, hours later. later. Alright, this took a while, but now we have Moai statues around the island. As soon as I finished, I shared a post on my community tab and on Discord, hoping it would end the shit posting in the Game Devs channel. And now, about three days later, not only the Game Devs channel is completely filled with Moai, but the entire server is. Like, I don't even know what to say at this point. Uh, I, I give up to the shit posting. Then it was time to start working on beaches and cliffs. To make the beaches, I painted sand along the coastline, because beaches have sand, and sand is on the beach, so uh, sand, sand on the beach, and beach, uh, alright, now we have beaches. The process to make the cliffs and the mountains was pretty similar. I used textures for rock and scree, and this was a bit of a lengthy process, but it was actually very relaxing. I think the final result makes the island look much more realistic and better overall. Sorry for my poor English. <laughs> I don't have that much else to say about this, so here's a quick time lapse you can look at. In the meantime, let me remind you to subscribe to the channel. I have lots of cool videos on the way and you really want to stick around for them. Also, if you want to join the Discord server to spam some Moai, the link is in the description. Alright, after painting the beaches, the cliffs and the volcanoes, I was planning on adding trees and grass. But apparently Easter Island has been dealing with severe deforestation and there's not a particularly lush plant life, so I decided to leave that aside for a new episode, provided it is something you'd like to see. If it is, please leave a comment, so I'll know. Finally, I added some post-processing and some flowers to take a screenshot that I would later use as the thumbnail for this video. And of course, you already know it, I'm the king of post-processing. The entire game dev part of YouTube knows it. So it's no wonder post-processing made the entire scene totally glow up. Look at this. And yeah, that's it. There's still a lot more to do to turn this into a realistic recreation of Easter Island, but that's a good beginning in my opinion, and I'm up to the task. So if you'd like to see more of this, please support the video. Alright, you already know how it goes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.